Hi there, I'm Kate Aiken and this is my ARC 5006 Cultural Studies Assignment 2. This study is titled Reactivating a Ghost Town and we'll explore the issues within Perth's Central Business District and in particular the attempts that are being made in Yagan Square to reactivate the CBD. Perth's Central Business District has struggled to regain its popularity and function since the beginning of the pandemic, the CBD being constructed of disconnected hubs of periodic activity centralised about commercialism and consumerism. There are spatterings of bars and clubs partnered with sporadic social events that attempt to garner a vibrant social scene, but the shortfallings of Perth CBD lie within its inability to activate its large commercial corridors, the main reason many ventured into the city in the first place. This issue is compounded as the accessibility of outer business districts such as Coburn, Mandra, Carousel and Karana are dominating the retail market of which Perth CBD once thrived upon. How are the relevant authorities reactivating Perth's central business district and what changes are they making? The accessibility and ease of these outer business districts, as well as the relative struggle and cost of venturing into the city, are why outer business districts are so desirable and active in their retail and social operation. The short distance one would need to travel to access the nearest OBD, along with the relative costs associated with this, mean that the need to travel to the city for retail or social purposes is dying. People no longer need to travel to the city for their shopping as most stores are open seven days a week, whereas before weekend trading was exclusive to Perth's CBD. Proposed new development within Yagan Square and the surrounding areas will be pivotal in re-establishing and reactivating Perth's CBD as an engaging and exciting environment. On the horizon is the introduction of Edith Cowan University's city campus a critical addition to the CBD that will attempt to revitalise and reactivate Perth CBD at a crucial point in time. This issue relates to the population of the Greater Perth region and those visiting Perth. Perth CBD must transition in its methods of activation and provide opportunities for engagement and socialisation that are unique to the CBD and cannot be found in outer business districts. The desire to spend time within the CBD is dwindling as many people would rather travel a shorter distance, park for free, and be able to shop and socialise within their local area. Reactivation of Perth CBD is critical for the city in terms of reintroducing consumerism and engagement within the area that has been removed due to the ease of access of outer business districts. The intention is to conduct a case study that investigates the movement of retail, business and consumer visitation away from the CBD and how relevant authorities within the city of Perth are attempting to reactivate the CBD through new development in Yagan Square. The research will unveil the struggles of Perth CBD and in particular Yagan Square and will prompt thought into improving these issues surrounding Yagan Square's in urban environment. The research will unpack the current issues of Perth CBD and what caused them, then will reveal plans in place that attempt to reactivate the CBD. Uncovering the issues within the CBD will give a greater understanding as to how we can begin to respond, pivot and reactivate the CBD. Specific research into the plans for ECU's new campus provide an example how a different typology and function within the CBD will bring about change and reactivation. Unique function within the CBD will bring about a desire to engage with the CBD. Planned implementation of research method methods such as interviews, mapping, photography, diagramming and data collection will produce a holistic array of data that will reinforce the claims within this article. The primary function within Perth CBD for so long has been retail and socialisation. Due to the pandemic, cost and ease of access, outer business districts have become much more popular and the CBD is far less desirable to visit, its primary function becoming unnecessary. Reactivation must occur, the primary function of the CBD must change in order to regain engagement and desire to visit the CBD. Opinion pieces and feature articles alike begin to describe the failures within urban centres relating closely to the situation of Perth's CBD and place particular, em particular emphasis on the emptiness of shops and the somewhat scary environment produced by the desolate streets and antisocial behaviour. We begin to look at the major overarching issues present within the CBD as well as an area to focus on that could begin to improve the social engagement through consistent activation. We also begin to look at the transition of business from the CBD to OBDs and how suburban business operation is far more cost effective for both the retailer and the consumer. The shift from face-to-face -face shopping to e-commerce also adds to this decline in CBD visitation and is a reason 
why Perth CBD must transition their methods. The proposed planning of Edith Cowan University's new CBD campus will be injected into the heart of the city, connecting with existing surrounding areas in an attempt to bring vibrancy and youth into the city. It's a good example of the steps local, state and federal government are taking to revitalise and improve Perth CBD social activ activation. Developing from these selected sources, the intention is to con conduct a case study into Perth CBD and Yagan Square and the proposed implementation of ECU's new university campus that will attempt to revitalise and re-engage the occupants of Perth CBD. Further inquiry into the future developments in its immediate surroundings will supplement the investigation Investigation. This will provide a qualitative descriptive approach that evaluates and describes both the, both the problems existing within and around Perth CBD and Yagan Square, as well as potential solutions to the problems that have arisen.